Hey everyone, welcome back to the Everyday Insight channel, where we break down everyday things and add a little bit of humor to make you think twice. Today, we're diving into something that affects just about everyone, motion and cameras in cars. You've probably noticed that cars are getting smarter with all these fancy gadgets like cameras and sensors. But here's a question for you. When you get your driver's license, does that mean you're suddenly a perfect driver? Or does technology step in to do some of the heavy lifting? Let's find out. Section A. No driver's license. All right, let's start with a scenario where you don't have a driver's license. Picture this. You're on the road, and it's a bit of a mess. The thought of getting into a car and driving sounds like a disaster waiting to happen. You know, just like that time your friend tried to reverse park into a spot, only to make the world cringe in unison. So, without a license, it's safe to say you're not getting behind the wheel anytime soon. But let's be honest, that's probably safer for everyone. Section B. Driver's License But what happens when you get that driver's license? It's like a golden ticket, right? Now you're officially allowed to drive. But here's the thing. Just because you've got the license doesn't mean you're suddenly a parking expert or even a great driver. Sure, you passed the test, but when was the last time you parallel parked perfectly on the first try? Exactly. The license doesn't guarantee skill. It just says you're allowed to give it a go. Section C. Blind Spots Now, let's talk about blind spots. And no, I'm not talking about those awkward moments on a blind date. You know, the kind where you can't quite see what's going on, and you're just hoping you're not walking into something weird. Same goes for driving, right? You can't always see the full picture when you're behind the wheel. And let's face it, blind spots in cars are the real-life equivalent of an awkward moment on a date. You can't see what's coming, and that's when you end up totally missing something important. Ever tried reversing into a driveway or even just parking on the street? You've probably seen someone struggle to park between the lines, or worse, halfway into two spaces. It's an art form, really. A shonky one. Section D. Autonomous Driving Okay, so here's the thing. To solve this, we've got self-driving cars. That's right. Tech has stepped in to save us from ourselves. Autonomous driving promises to take over those tricky moments, like parking or navigating blind spots. Imagine a world where you no longer need to worry about squeezing your car into that tight spot or wondering if you're about to hit something. Sounds like a dream, right? Section E. Guided Destination And here's where it gets really interesting. Guided destinations. This isn't just about knowing where you're going. It's about letting the technology guide you to that spot. Park your car and do the hard work for you. Think of it like a GPS. But instead of telling you where to go, it takes over and makes sure you don't embarrass yourself while parking. Because let's face it, if we all had a little more tech to help us, maybe our blind dates with parking spots would end a lot better. So, does it sound good? Well, if it fits the purpose, then we're all for it. Whether you're on the road or navigating a tight spot, technology is here to make life a little easier. And hey, we all know those blind spots in life, on the road and beyond, are better off with a little help. Thanks for watching today's episode on motion and cameras in cars. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and come back for more insights. Until next time, keep driving smart and maybe leave the reverse parking to the robots. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and drop a comment below. We'd love to hear your thoughts on self-driving cars, parking fails or anything tech related. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button 
and ring the bell so you never miss out on more fun insights right here on Everyday Insight Channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.